Y'all done caught up with the boy Young Chris. What it do, my nigga? Man, just cool it, man. On the way in the studio right now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That, that, that performance last night was real ham. Yeah, I be trying to kill every last one of them, make every show better than the last one. True indeed. What inspired that song, Rats on Rats on Rats, my nigga? Yeah, right now, this, this your boy Young Chris, a.k.a. YC. I got the hottest song in the street right now. It tearing up the street. Racks on racks on racks. Man, they going crazy. Uh, BPE 3022 at the label or whatever. And right now we just trying to take the streets over. The mixtape on the way. I'm gonna try to probably drop it in the middle of February. I don't know when y'all might see that. Hopefully it might be before oh, the yeah, mixtape. Oh yeah, it's gonna be before the mixtape. Well, I got a mixtape coming soon. We ain't even, we ain't even name. We, we probably ain't gonna even name the mixtape. We just mm -hmm. gonna put it out. Mm -hmm. What we gonna do is we gonna shoot video to every song on the mixtape. You gonna be able to get a visual, a video mixtape and an audio mixtape. Oh, so that's what gonna I do. Be, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be real stupid. What inspired that song right there that's playing, my nigga? Got racks on racks on foot. Oh, and cost some money. Design. What made you come up with that? What was the concept behind that? Yeah, really. You know, everybody done did their version song, like, basically talking about money. Mm -hmm. So, we just, just put a twist on it. It racks on racks on racks. So, you, you know, you get money, you trying to stack it up. So, you put money on money on money. Just racks on racks on racks. Basically, just stacking it up. Just trying to stack it up. I don't care if you got a dollar in your pocket. Or a thousand dollars in your pocket, or twenty thousand. When this song come on, it just change everybody vibe, everybody feelings, and everything. It just it just go crazy. Mm -hmm. So we just really been, you know. I got another. I got some more singles. I'm gonna put out and everything. I was just waiting till the, I got the song where I needed to be before I dropped everything up. Cause it ain't gonna be nothing get better and better. So how do you feel? How you feel when that record right there finally broke? How long was the grind to get that record to break? Man, it's crazy though. I did the record in probably June, June or August. I went to a few clubs, and you know they started spending, mm -hmm. and it just went crazy from there. It just went crazy. It's in every club in Atlanta. In Atlanta, it's going down south. It's, it's just taking over. I done got calls from Detroit. I done got calls from New York. I done got calls from St. Louis. Like, bro, they fucking with that song. They fucking with it. I'm like, shit. I appreciate it, you know. I appreciate all the DJs that have been, you know, pushing the record and everything like that. You know, it's like everybody done got behind it. And I appreciate everybody for getting behind it. But now it's just, it's just more to come now. So we just trying to, just, you know, just taking it step by step. Did you expect for it to take off the way it did? No, not really. I ain't expecting to, to, to take off like it did. It just took off, you know. Shit, the record took off before me. I'm trying to catch up with the record. <laughs> yeah, so what, they, what can they expect from the nigga Young Chris, man? What separates you from other artists as well? Like, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I've been in the street, mm -hmm. But my music just don't be the street music. Mm -hmm. Like, like... Like, from the background I come from, is the way I can do street stuff, but I'm just trying to do other stuff. I'm trying to really just make stuff that make the club go crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, hear about it, just, just take, you know, a lot of people be going through a lot of stuff. So, I expect my music to get it out their head. Mm -hmm. little, you know, when they come on for three minutes, three however minutes it is, they, ain't, they, they not thinking about, shit, I got rent due tomorrow. I got this, I got that. They just really, they just party and they having a good time. So that's basically what I, you know, that's basically what I try to do. But at the same time, I still got real stuff that I'm gonna put out. But my whole thing is to just, you know, just take take your mind away for a minute. You know, everybody that well, you know, I, from I got kids saying they got racks on racks on racks. Mm -hmm. I got old folks saying older folks. Shout out to the older folks. But I got older folks saying they got racks on racks on racks. People parents saying they got racks on racks on racks. So it real, it, it it's really crazy. But at the same time, you know. It's a big step for me and it's a big accomplishment for me. But I don't feel like, you know how some folks get to where they be like, well, I'm gone, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like that yet. I ain't did enough. I ain't, I ain't put enough product out there or whatever. I'm still grinding. I'm still down here. I'm trying to get up there. Sure indeed. Staying humble like that to get you there real fast. Yeah. That's why, you know, you know, a lot of folks like, a big shout out to my fans who just, who, who fuck with the record and who fuck with me. So without them, I wouldn't be doing it. My song wouldn't be high that people wouldn't listen to it and like it. 
You know, it's easy for somebody to listen to something that they might think good, but say, oh, no, I don't like it. But for people actually to, you know, go request it from the DJs and do stuff like that, that's a big, that's a big, that, 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 that means a lot to me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm damn sure going to get me a CD and take it back to the Carolinas, and you'll see what the grind like out there. And I built, I'm going to be in Carolina. Oh, yeah, I'm Carolina bringing you. Fucking with it. I got I'm it. bringing you to Carolina. Ain't no fucking the bullshit. Need a promoter, too, baby. Well, yeah, you know, anything else you want to add before we wrap this interview? up my nigga I know you gotta get into the studio I don't wanna take up too much of your time yeah man really you know just y'all gonna see a lot more this is this at the beginning it's just the beginning there's gonna be a lot more a lot more coming out of this though. how them niggas can get in contact with you you know you can follow me at the number one Y-U-N-G Chris at tw- on Twitter mm-hmm. uh MySpace you go Young Chris at MySpace Y-O Young Money uh, MySpace backslash Young Money Racks on MySpace. Uh, for all the people that's trying to email me stuff and everything like that, beats and stuff like that, it's stewardrops at gmail.com. You know, uh, really just, you know, and, and I'm, I'm hands on with it, so I still deal with a lot of people. Like a lot of a lot of stuff that you pay people to do, I don't do that. I just, I, I still, I'm still hands on with it. I still answer my phone when I give hope of contact, you know, stuff like that. Like, you can really get in touch with me. You ain't got to get in touch with nobody else. You can talk to me. So, you know, just basically, I'm just still trying to do my thing. 2011, I'm trying to make a big dent in the music industry. Mm-hmm. You know, because they be like the South, the South over with and all that. When we, I, don't, I don't think we gone. I don't think we over with. We got plenty of more. We got plenty of more talent that's coming out. Oh, yeah, that racks on racks on racks. Gonna show them that the South ain't dead. Yeah. Um,